Okay, so series introduction tayo, English for Business. So, naalala ko kasi yung mga panahong baguhan pa lang ako sa accounting. Uh, nung unang beses na nagbasa ako ng basic accounting, may mga English words or terminologies na nun ko lang unang na-encounter and yes, I was kind of, you know, lost in the beginning. Hindi ko maintindihan anong ibig sabihin nito. So, although there was a time in my life na, you know, nagbabasa ako ng dictionary, ito yung point in my life na Every time na makaka-encounter ako ng new word, uh, I really needed to consult the dictionary uh, before ko ipagpatuloy yung pagbabasa. ba? Diba? Kasi importante na yung binabasa mo, naunawaan mo kung ano yung ibig sabihin. So, yun. Medyo disruptive siya kasi, you know, uh, ginaganahan ka na magbasa pero kailangan mong tumigil kasi hahanapin ko pa sa dictionary kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng word na yun. Okay? Um, there were instances naman na kaya mong is or miss or hularan yung definition ng word base sa pagkakagamit niya sa sentence or dun sa paragraph. Pero, that isn't always the case, right? And then, habang tumatagal after ng basic accounting, you have your subjects na uh, other subjects na very technical. May mga sariling terms, concepts, and uh, yes, there were a number of times na mahirap silang intindihin. A lot, actually. Uh, in my case, that is. Okay? Especially yung mga concepts. Ang gawa ko noon, kapag hindi ko talaga siya magets, hindi ko maintindihan, no matter how much I try, dinadaan ko na lang sa memorization. That's how it was. Pero again, uh, you know, last resort. Mas mabuti pa rin na maintindihan natin kung ano yung concept talaga. Pero pag hindi carry, memorization muna. Okay, tapos later on, uh, ma-encounter mo siya ng ma-encounter pa ulit-ulit hanggang sa maunawaan mo na kung ano talaga yung uh, ibig sabihin or yung tinutumbok ng isang concept. Okay? Um, truth be told, meron mga concepts na nung nagtatrabaho na lang ako, sa so ako lang sila naintindihan. Okay, examples, um, leverage, hedging, amortization, ganyan. Okay, so the thing is, um, natatawa na lang ako kasi meron silang, you know, equivalent na simple words. ba diba, um, leverage, utang din yan. Of course, meron pang operating leverage, saka financing leverage. Pero yung, um, bagan, tinutukoy lang naman doon yung source of funds. Okay. Tapos hedging, parang insurance lang din yan, uh, amortization, um, some sort of allocation, parang installment pay- payment or something similar, di ba? So, I I don't know why I couldn't understand them back in college. Baga, uh, baka bugok, bugok pa ako noon, so medyo nakakalako ng content. Ayan. Anyway, content nitong series na ito, um, English words na ginagamit sa mga subjects natin in business or in accounting. So, terminologies, concepts, and sasamahan na rin natin ng review in grammar, pati spelling, sentence construction, essay composition, mga ganong bagay. Okay? So, the purpose is for us to understand yung mga words na yun or concepts para dun sa mga hindi sanay mag-spoken in dollar. Okay? So, pwede source of quick lessons din itong series na to. Okay? So, that's it for this one. That's it for the introdu- uh, introduction. Thanks and bye!